Welcome to the Temp Review, and again, this is another one I'm sure a lot of people have been waiting for. The 2018 Illuminations, The Grinch. So, I've reviewed the original How to, Chuck Jones' How the Grinch Stole Christmas, and the 2000s run Howard v The Grinch. So it's now time I get to this. Now, I've had no emotional attack. Now, unlike those other two films, I obviously didn't grow up with it. I'm aware of it. But I never bothered looking into it, you know, just, it just seemed like your gen generally average kids, kids film that was just going to be even probably looking pretty bland. And to be fair, I'm, with the animation, I'm not a big fan. This didn't, though, it didn't look like it would be a cringy, like the Lorax, which was also made by Illumination, but... At the same time, you could tell there was a bit of Monday sense of humour at times, and also for on a few other things as well. You know, I, I mean, though it didn't look also as colourful as the Lorax, which you got to admit, the Lorax was a good an looking anime movie. Um, but so we go, but here we are with the 2018 film. I finally decided to watch it, and. And after hearing so many people rant on about how bland and forgettable it was, I honestly liked it. I was going, I know, I was going to hate it, probably to hate this, but I actually liked it. In fact, I like it even more than the, the Jim Carrey film. It's not to say that the Carrey film has its better, has better, has you know better things in it compared to this. I mean, this this isn't the the Chuck Jones film, but the Chuck Jones special. But I will explain why I like this film. Well, I actually did like this film, but okay, let's go to the premise, which of course we all know. The Grinch is a is a lives in Whoville, and the Who's all love Christmas. The Grinch does not, and prefers to live alone in solitude with his loyal dog Max. But one day, when he hears the Christmas, the Who's plan to make Christmas even bigger and better than the neck than than before, he decides he has had enough and is going to steal Christmas. So, with help of his dog Max and even recruiting a fat, obese reindeer named Fred, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Um, he plans to steal Christmas, and of course, we watch him do it, all to get back to see if it, all to get back over the, the his worst ever night of his existence when he was left alone. On Christmas in in the orphanage in the in Whoville, which um, honestly I do like that backstory more compared to the fur, the the Jim Carrey film. All the while we have a subplot with Cindy Who, I mean Cindy Lou, sorry Cindy Cindy Lou Who, uh, never mind. And we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. So let's go over what I thought, think works better than this. First off, as I said, the backstory. I like this backstory better than the Jim Carrey film. I just feel like it fits the Grinch more. To be honest, even though and it is interesting that when you hear that, it kind of gets the idea this isn't. Well, with the Jim Carrey film, you can kind of say, yeah, you get why he hates Christmas and acts the way he does. With this version of the Grinch, he's more, he's more subtle. He he seems more scarred and appears to have weaknesses. I mean, not to say the other Grinch's uh, Jim Carrey version had a weakness, but it's it was very hard to tell. With this Grinch, you kind of can tell. And, yeah. Um, whether or not that's the best thing or not, I think it works with this iteration. I mean, uh, I'm not counting the Chuck, the Chuck Jones, the Boris Karloff iteration, because that's on a different sort of level. And it, it's, a, it's a TV special. It's, it's meant to be shorter, so it's different. Uh, I like... I also like the improved relationship between the Grinch and Max. I, I think it... It's much better in this, and you know the ending where the, after the Grinch um, learn, learns what Christmas is all about when he gives Max a little present is kind of sweet, and I do like that. And it's also he's well, yes, he is strict. He's not he's not overall you know 
neglectful, which, yeah, I mean, the other versions were the same, but, you know, this film, like, kind of like Max, even though, I don't know, maybe the design could have been, you know, a little bit less generic, I guess, and fluffy. Just seems like Illumination of Repeat and some old character that designs that didn't make their way into Secret Life of Pets. Maybe there was a dog in that film that looked like Max, I've never seen the, f the first film, I've only seen bits and pieces of the second. But, um... Yeah, I, I love also the scene of stealing Christmas, so of course the and all the, all the designs and contraptions the Grinch creates in this, they, they look pretty good. I And honestly, I really do enjoy Cindy Lou in this. I've, I think I've said, I said before my review of the Jim Carrey film, I never liked Cindy Lou in this, I, in that film, I really couldn't stand her. Uh, she just seemed so, I just didn't even want to be around her. But with this film, she's had a lot better. Not only do I think the, the voice actress did a good job with her, but also her storyline. She's trying, unlike the, the the Jim Carrey film where she's trying to help the Grinch and, and is basically very clingy on him. With this, she's got her own agenda. She's trying to to you know you know be give him you know trying to, to you know improve the life of her mother. Who she feels she's um working very, uh, working too hard and wants you know, in the hopes of Santa Claus to um, you know, you know make her make her happy and you know that. She she cares about other people, but and it's because and it's not just really. Yeah, so you see that, and her goal is to stay up late to see Santa Claus, which kind of fits into the original story or the Chuck Jones special and the Chuck Jones special, but very loosely but it kind of fits that way and you know you and yet again her her kind words and 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 her feelings do touch the Grinch and I do feel like that works yeah there's I mean I guess you can argue that kind the fact she doesn't really talk much to the Grinch in the first place kind of this isn't as strong as the Carrie film but I don't know this works better for me honestly with Cindy Lou and the ending I really do enjoy I find that it, I mean, it's it's not the same as the Chuck Jones special. It's not the same as it, it's, but I love it for what it is. I think it works better here. Plus, I think um, Cumberbatch's performance, Benedict Cumberbatch's performance, you know, uh, fits that, fits that, fits well with that. Uh, I guess I should get onto Benedict Cumberbatch's portrayal as the Grinch. Well, not over the top as Carrie, and not. Um, you know, simple but effective like Karloff, it's interesting to see that Cumberbatch seems more... He doesn't feel very... He, his performance is half and half. When he's when the Grinch is allowed to be a bit more... Um, you know, I'm trying to explain. When he's meant to be, you know, mean and horrible and all that, that's where his performance... Uh, kind of falls uh, flat a bit. I, I don't think he sells with him being mean and disgusting and all that stuff. You know, it just it just doesn't work. Well, he can do it well, but not not exactly enough. But, but I think also that helps. That doesn't help the animation. And yeah, but what he does shine well at is when the Grinch is allowed to be a bit more vulnerable. That I actually kind of enjoy. I think he. He, he gives him more of a shaky sort of feel to it. He, you can tell, but you can tell, you can tell he's very scarred and, and doesn't, and tries his best to block it out because it could re lead to his repressed memories striking up, which we see at one stage when he's trying to destroy a Christmas tree uh, that the Who's have brought to Whoville. That, that that was that was good, and I think that works. And as I said, the ending works because of that when he of his vulnerability and insecurity, you know, and his scenes with Max work the same way too. Um, yeah, but there, there is that. Um, with, with the rest of the voice cast, I thought they all did a good job. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, but with cons, I mean, I'm not a big fan of the humor, especially with the, the new reindeer, the fat reindeer named Fred. That, um, uh, though, there is, it is interesting how little he's in it, and I kind of feel like he could have appeared a bit more in the act when... When, during the ending, for some weird reason. I mean, he does help the Grinch stop the gifts from falling off the mountain, but that's really about it. I was kind of expecting him to show up again at a later point. I mean, 
I don't like the modern rendition of it, you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You know, uh, but it just, just sounds like your generic song you hear in an Illumination film. Uh, Pharrell Williams is the narrator in this, and uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I know it's tradition for Illumination to have him involved in some sort, but it, I am glad he, he at this stage he hasn't been confirmed to be in the Mario movie. I'm glad for that. But he, yeah, well, he's okay as an area. I just don't think he should be in it. I, I just don't want want that really. And again, I, I think I've explained it so many times, but I'm not a fan of CG uh, anime movies set in snow. I it just looks the same to me. I know they can be colourful. I know they can be very textured. But to me, all with the you can't. I just don't like anime movies that that have snow animation the whole way through. Some it, I can only tolerate it if it's with um short scenes or um or there's multi. It's not just snow. But with this, I just feel it's restricted. It it's just. To me, it, it just looks like Ice Age. Uh, it, every Snow anime movie is ice, just looks like Ice Age. I can't block that. I mean, though, to be fair, with Chris Miller Dandre, it kind of makes sense why it would look that way. <laughs> I mean, he produced the first two Ice Age, ice Age films. But, yeah. With that said, I do enjoy it. I did enjoy The Grinch enough and, and liked it for what it is. I should mention also on a side note, considering I was not expecting watching this to hear Angel Angela Lansbury um, appear in this, and considering that she passed away a, a few months ago, it's kind of nice to hear her in it, and it's, you know, she does a good job playing the mayor of Foodville for the short for the short amount of time she's in it. But yeah, the, the, the Grinch, Illuminations the Grinch is actually not bad. I, I do like it. I honestly think I would... If, I mean, I'm going to grow up, mostly watch the Chuck Jones special but all, all the way through, but if I had to pick any other thing, I mean, I'd give it another go. I, I like it. I mean, I like the ending enough, and it, it really did bring the film together a, a lot, and i got to like it for it. I mean, I mean, yes, I'm going to have issues. Yes, I don't like the humor. Yes, I don't like certain things in it, and yeah, I'm not a big fan of CG snow animation, but with that said, I still enjoy The Grinch. I... But I know a lot of people don't, and are very miffed over it. And those who haven't seen it yet still unfairly compared to the Lorax. But I just say, give it a chance. You might like it, just like me. But I'm not giving a high score. This is a 6.5 out of 10 half stars. But for what that said, I enjoyed it, and I want to hear who else enjoys it too. So, yeah. Yeah. So what's next? Um, well, actually, with two more reviews left, I've got. I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to see what comes up next. But we're getting onto a true Christmas classic next, and this is something I've been meaning to get to for a long time. This story, this this story, is often considered one of the best Christmas Christmas movie in history. Whether or not I agree with that is true. It will, you'll have to wait and see. But I do have to say it is going to be a good film to look at. And I'm looking forward to that. So in the meantime, this is Hazard from Hazard Reviews Out. And I shall see you for the next video. Ciao.